Good day everyone, I am Joyce Marie Sumatra and I am assigned to report the topics of security and ethical challenges and the enterprise and global management of information technology. For this discussion, it will be divided into four subtopics, namely the security and ethical and societal challenges of IT, security management of information technology, managing information technology, and managing global IT. Let's tackle first the security, ethical, and societal challenges of IT. The use of information technologies in business has had a significant impact on society, and it thus raises ethical issues in crime, privacy, individuality, employment, health, and working conditions. As a business professional, you are responsible for promoting the ethical use of information technology in the workplace. Whether you have administrative or managerial responsibilities or not, you should accept the ethical responsibilities that accompany your work. This also means that you properly fulfill your role as a critical resource in the business system that helps develop and use your company. As a manager or business expert, you are responsible for making decisions about your business activities and using information technology that may have ethical aspects to consider. What are the ethical responsibilities of business professionals? These include business ethics. So business ethics addresses many ethical issues executives face in their day-to-day -day business decisions. These include intellectual property, customer and employee privacy, corporate record security, and occupational safety issues. These are emphasized because they are the main ethical controversies in information technology. Then, technology ethics. It specifically addresses the ethics of using all forms of technology. Common examples of technical ethics include some of the health risks associated with the long-term use of computer workstations in large data entry workplaces. Many organizations and companies allow work breaks to limit employee exposure to data entry and staring at computer monitors and minimize the risk of developing various work-related health problems, such as hand and eye injuries. By suppressing the employees being exposed to computers, it shows ethical behavior. And lastly, ethical guidelines. There must be a specific list of guidelines from the company regarding using information technology. An example of this is employees' ethical issue or use of uh, computers and the internet. For example, most policies stipulate that company computer workstations and networks, whether internal networks or the internet, are resources that can only be used for work-related purposes. An increasing threat to society, computer crime or cybercrime is caused by individuals, criminal or irresponsible behavior who exploit the widespread use and vulnerabilities of computers, the internet, and other networks. Computer crime includes unauthorized use, access, modification, and destruction of hardware, software, data, or network resources. Unauthorized release of information and unauthorized copying of software. So, what are the different types of computer crime? Hacking and cracking. This is the compulsive use of computers or unauthorized access and use of computer systems. Hackers can be outsiders or company employees who use the internet to steal or damage data or programs. Hackers can also monitor email, web server, or file transfers to extract passwords, steal files, or instill data in the system that welcomes intruders. Cyber theft, on the other hand, this involves the theft of money. These people transfer funds from a specific bank then put them into their personal accounts. In most cases, they are inside jobs that involve unauthorized network entry and alteration of computer databases to cover the employees tracks cyber terrorism is when organizations or governments 
use computers and information, especially over the internet, to physically damage the real world or cause severe disruption to their infrastructure. One such example occurred in Romania when cyber terrorists illegally gained access to the computers controlling the life support systems at an Antarctic research station. The unauthorized use of computer systems and networks can be called time and resource theft. A typical example is the unauthorized use of company-owned computer networks by employees. This involves playing games using a computer that is not work-related, using the company's internet or computer for personal use that is not connected to one's job description. Unauthorized copying software or software piracy is also an effective form of software theft. These are common among Apple Computer, IBM, Intel, and Microsoft software. Unauthorized copying is illegal because software is intellectual property that is protected by copyright law and intellectual property theft occurs in the form of infringements of copyrighted material such as music, videos, images, articles, books, and other written works without proper consent and use from its original owner. One of the most destructive examples of computer crime involves the creation of a computer virus or worm. A computer virus or worm can spread destruction among many users and they more often destroy the contents of memory, hard disk, and other storage devices. And lastly, adware and spyware. These programs collect specific information about you, ranging from general demographics like your name, address, internet surfing habits, to credit card social security number, usernames, passwords, or other personal information. Information technology makes it technically and economically possible to collect, store, integrate, exchange, and access data and information quickly and easily. This characteristic has a significant positive impact on the efficiency and effectiveness of computerized information systems. The internet is very prominent and gives anonymity to users who invade their privacy. Networks and the web are easily vulnerable to hackers intercepting or stealing personal information posted by internet users on websites. To limit your exposure to electronic snooping, you can refuse to di disclose your data and interest to user profiles of online services and websites. Computer matching of personal data is another controversial threat to privacy. People were accidentally arrested and detained, so credits were also denied because the profiling software used physical profiles and personal information and matched them with the wrong or improperly wrong people. Many countries strictly regulate the collection and use of personal information by for-profit companies and government agencies. Data protection laws in many countries seek to enforce the confidentiality of computer-based files and communications. For the computer libel and censorship, there is an unending debate of the right to know about issues that others want to keep secret or freedom of information. There's also the right to express their views on such is issues or freedom of speech and the right of people who publish their opinions or freedom of the press. Let's now explore some other important challenges that arise from the use of information technologies in business. These challenges include the potential ethical and societal impact of business applications of IT in the areas of employment, individuality, working conditions, and health. There can be no doubt that the use of information technologies has created new jobs and increased productivity while also causing a significant reduction in some types of job opportunities. Information technology has eliminated monotonous or obnoxious tasks in the office and the factory that formerly had to be performed by people. The use of information technology in the workplace raises a variety of health issues.
Heavy use of computers is reportedly causing health problems like job stress, damaged arm and neck, neck muscles, eye strain, radiation exposure, and even death by computer-caused accidents. There are many significant threats to the security of information systems in business. That's why this section is dedicated to exploring the methods that companies can use to manage their security. The goal of security management is the accuracy, integrity, and safety of all information system processes and resources. The security of today's networked business enterprises is a major management challenge. Vital network links and business flows need to be protected from external attack by cyber criminals and from subversion by the criminal or irresponsible acts of insiders. This protection requires a variety of security tools and defensive measures and a coordinated security management program. The following are important security defenses, encryption, firewalls, denial of service attacks, email monitoring, and virus defenses. Other security measures are security codes, backup files, security monitors, biometric security, computer failure controls, fault-tolerant systems, and disaster recovery. The strategic and operational importance of information technology in business is no longer questioned. As the 21st century unfolds, many companies throughout the world are intent on transforming themselves into global business powerhouses through major investments in global e-business, e-commerce, and other IT initiatives. Thus, there is a real need for business managers and professionals to understand how to manage this vital organizational function. The illustration shows the business or IT planning process which focuses on discovering innovative approaches to satisfying a company's customer value and business value goals. This planning process leads to the development of strategies and business models for new business applications, processes, products, and services. The business or IT planning process emphasizes a customer and business value focus for developing business strategies and models and an IT architecture for business applications. Managing information technology is not an easy task. The information systems function often has performance problems in many organizations. Involving managers in the management of IT requires the development of governance structures that encourage their active participation in planning and controlling the business uses of IT. Thus, many organizations have policies that require managers to be involved in IT decisions that affect their business units. Information Technology Governance, or ITG, is a subset discipline of corporate governance focused on the information technologies, information systems, and their performance, use, and associated risk. International dimensions have become a vital part of managing a business enterprise in the internetwork global economies and markets of today. Whether you become a manager in a large corporation or the owner of a small business, you will be affected by international business developments and deal in some way with people, products, or services whose origin is not your home country. There are too many cultural, political, and geoeconomic or geographic and economic realities that must be confronted for a business to succeed in global markets. For example, a major political challenge is that many countries have ruled regulating or prohibiting transfer of data across their national boundaries or transborder data flows, especially personal information such as personal records. Geoeconomic challenges in global business and IT refer to the effects of geography on the economic realities of international business activities. Cultural challenges facing global business and IT managers include differences in languages, cultural interests, religions, customs, social attitudes, and political philosophies. Businesses are moving away from international strategies in which foreign subsidiaries are autonomous but depend on headquarters for new processes, 
products and ideas or from global strategies in which a company's worldwide operations are closely managed by corporate headquarters. Instead, a companies are moving toward a transnational strategy where the company's business depends heavily on its information systems and internet technologies to help it integrate its global business activities. The figure shows some of the business reasons driving global business applications. These are the global customers, global products, global operations, global resources, and global collaboration. Global data access issues have been a subject of political controversy and technology barriers in global business operations for many years, but have become more visible with the growth of the internet and the pressures of e-commerce. Many businesses are becoming global companies and moving toward transnational business strategies in which they integrate the global business activities of their subsidiaries and headquarters. This transition requires that they develop a global IT platform that is an integrated worldwide hardware, software, and internet-based network architecture. Global companies are increasingly using the internet and related technologies as a major component of this IT platform to develop and deliver global IT applications that meet their unique global business requirements. Global IT and end-user managers must deal with limitations to the availability of hardware and software, restrictions on transborder data flows, internet access and movement of personal data, and difficulties with developing common data definitions and system requirements. That ends my presentation. I hope that you've learned something from this discussion video. Thank you for your attention.